Well, this would be the part that I'm really not sure about. I found the computer under the passenger side dash. And I know what the chip looks like. There's an access port here. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark that maybe something to do with this is where this chip is located. So let's pull up a new one and see how it compares to this one here. Before I touch anything inside, I'm probably going to disconnect those connectors. I didn't unhook my battery because it's not as simple as just unhooking one. I have to unhook three. That's kind of a pain in the ass. So I'll just unhook the computer itself and see where we go. Okay. There's some buttons here where you press them away from this uh, chip. It actually pops the old one out. It is keyed. It only fits one way. Instructions. Well, I read the instructions for more than a few minutes. Um, if any of you want to pause the screen, you can probably see they're not very descriptive. Um, now, the brown socket is the original chip, and it fits into the receiver across the base here. This new chip combines with the existing, however, only uses the first however many pins and then the remaining ones are left empty. This is what I determined. According to that document that it was sent with, if the engine light's not flashing, you should be okay. I don't have any engine light flashing. The truck actually idles really nicely. I'm hoping that that's as simple as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this computer now into the truck. Permanently. I took it back out just to show you guys what I was looking at and hopefully uh, that will help somebody who's trying to uh, get this same chip installed into their vehicle.